Hi guys, it's me Lewis and today I'm here to do um, a rant on a, um, on a guy, no joke, um, I, I haven't done a rant in a very long time, um, this guy called Chris Chan, I believe people are aware of this guy, um, now I know I'm a bit late on this rant video but I could not give two shits about that, I want to do a rant video on my own about, about him, and then you're thinking who is Chris Chan, so the people who don't know him you may ask, well, how can I put it this way? Um, right. He is a complete freak. No joke. He is blind from reality. And he has been, honestly, God, he's been arrested multiple times for, for stupid shit he's done. For, for, yeah, stupid shit that, that he's done. And they think, what's that you may ask? Well. Right, I'm going to put it this way. He, he was looking for a girlfriend, right? And he met this girl named Megan. Megan had no interest in him. What did he do? He decided to, um, I'm going to put it this, this way. He drew pictures of him having sex with Megan. And she demanded, and she demanded to have those pictures um, taken off the in taken off the internet. Now, one, you don't fucking do that. You don't fucking draw a picture of yourself having sex with someone that you just met who has no interest in you. In fact, to be quite honest with you, even if you did have a girlfriend or, or a boyfriend or what the fuck ever, you don't fucking do that. You really don't. I mean, honest to God, you, this guy is blinded from reality. He's stuck in his own world, which is just fucked up. I, I mean, to be, I mean, to be honest with you, yes, we do want to live in our own worlds, but face it, it's reality. Reality is, is, the, is the real world that we're stuck in, and we have to deal with it. We, di we dealt with it for years, and this guy just... This guy is, he's a, to be honest with you, he's a bigger man-child than DSP. A way bigger man child than him, and to be quite honest with you, I, I can I can see why he's he's gone as down as the number one um, biggest Sonic freak of all time. Literally, he, he's literally a Sonic freak because he had um he had a comic book issue called um called Sonic Chew. I, I swear to God, that shit is real, and it, it's just the most uh, the, it's the biggest abomination ever. And yes, this guy was actually was actually in his twenties when he made this. And I don't give a shit if he's autistic or not, right? He shouldn't be going out drawing pictures of some girl he met. And to be quite honest with you, he's been arrested. And, and speaking of arresting, and spe speaking of being arrested, he's been arrested for taking pictures of female customers in a in a game place. I believe I believe that's what, what's called. Because some guy called the cops on his ass. He's more, and to be quite honest with you, he's more just a freak. He's a fucking psycho as well. Because the guy who called the cops on his ass, Chris decided to get in his car and try to run that guy over. The one who called the cops on him. He's a dangerous fucking psycho. I I'm not joking you. And I do not give two shits if, if he has autism or not. It doesn't, it doesn't give him the excuse to go out and do shit like that. He should fucking know better. He really should. Honest, honest to fucking God, people. I am so sick of hearing those piss poor excuses from people like him. And now you think, well, Lewis, you, you do sex jokes about, about video game characters. Guess what, sunshine? They're jokes, right? Fucking jokes. I don't fucking mean them. I know the difference between reality and virtual reality. I live in reality, okay? And, and yes, I did get a few arseholes on the internet who took that shit seriously. Guess what? It's called sense of humor. Read a fucking dictionary. Go and watch some fucking stand-up comedy for a change. And you'll see the difference. I joke about that shit. This guy doesn't. He actually wants he actually wants to 
He just wants to lose his virginity to, f from women. And honestly, God, there, there's some other disgusting shit that he that he actually said and admitted, which I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna put any of his any any of his videos or his website in, in the description. You can go and look that up because I just do not want to fucking see it or hear it. I really fucking don't. It is disgusting, vile. It makes me want to vomit. And guess what? This guy, he's a complete fucking moron. He doesn't learn from his mistakes. He really doesn't. He just does not fucking think. He's got. He's been trolled by thirteen-year-old boys who've called for called him out because those thirteen-year-old year old boys were pretending to be girls, and he got trolled the living shit out of out of him. Hell. He gets trolled time and time again because people fucking hate him. He's a creep. He, he's been kicked out and banned from certain places from where he lives. No joke. He's actually been banned from his own cult, from, from a college that he went to. How fucking sad is that? Excuse me. And me personally, I may have said a lot of stupid shit in my time. And I've done a lot of horrible shit in the past. Am I proud of the shit I've said and done? No. Am I gu am I guilty for some some for some I did? Yes. Did I take re responsibility straight away? Yes. And to be quite honest with you, I can't stop thinking about what I've done in the past. Right? I feel guilty about what I've done. And, and to be quite honest with you, it's not going to go away. Don't fucking sit there and say, oh, oh Blues, you gotta forget about it. Don't fucking forget about it, right? You need to think about that time and time again, right? The stuff that you did was wrong. And you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot get that shit out of your head for what you've done. And I even I can't. And it haunts me time and time and time again. And yet only... I, I only forget about it for, for, for a couple of seconds, or for a couple of minutes, and that's it, and it comes back straight away. And yes, I want to make it stop. But, this guy, he's not, he's not guilty for the shit that he's done. He never learns. He just does it time and time and time again. Do I blame his parents? Yes. I do. But it's his parents who who should be the blame for this because they they brought him up like this. And if if he if he was joking around about about you know about, about like by making like sex jokes or something like that by you know not by by, by him saying that I'm not taking it seriously I'm just joking around I can completely understand that. But for him to go and say shit like that is just, it's unreal. And like, like I said, I'm not going into any more detail about the, about this guy because it, it's just, I don't want to fucking think about it. I don't want to say it, I don't want to fucking think about it. I really don't. And, and to be quite honest with you, was, was that Sonichu comic that he made? It's just, it's a shitty idea. And his art style does not evolve. If you go, if you go, if you go on my on my Deviant Art channel, right? My art style evolved, and if you can't argue that Fat Man and Pop shit that I made on Deviant Art was when I, when I reached at the age of thirteen, and I made and I made those characters at the age of eleven. So that took me three years, three fucking years. To even realise how fucking terrible those those characters were, literally, even the characters who who were part of that, you know, stuff, and I and I, and I stopped. And I said to myself, "Fuck it, I'm not, I'm not drawing any more of these characters. I want I want to do a bit more realistic." So I start practicing that, and you know what I did? I've got I've got sketchbooks, literally, sketchbooks in there, tons of them. And I can't stop drawing. 
because it's something I love doing, because I, I, I practiced over time. Yes, yes, drawing real, drawing like, you know, almost real life characters was kind of a difficult thing for me um, when, whenever I started off, but do you know what? I actually got better over time. Because when I created them, I just rushed through it. But now I actually take my time. I take like, what, like two or three hours to even make one character. That's how long it takes for me to do that. Literally. This guy made that Sonichu shit in his 20s. It, he wasn't a kid when he made that. He wasn't. And I literally felt like I, I just I just could not read any of any of that shit. I just wanted to stop reading it straight away. To be quite honest, you go if you want to if you want to read some actual web comics. Go on Google, ty type in web comics or any other, or any websites that you know, and just read them. Don't go on his fucking website because it's just a load of shit. Honestly, people. Honestly, people. His his parents are to blame for 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 what he's done, right? Because they they locked him away. That's that's all they've done. They've locked him away. They've basically told him to blame the world, not get a job, because we you'll be you'll be you'll you'll be on benefits as it is. Um. And. You know, if, if, and, it's just like, what? No, that's not how you treat your fucking kid. If, if I had, if I, if I had a son or a daughter, right? I would say to him or her, look, reality is a, is a, is a, is a really tough thing to, is a really tough world to live in, right? I know, I know we want to live in a virtual world, but that, that's not, that's not reality. Reality is the world that we live in, unfortunately. And we have to deal with it. We have to deal with the hard lives ahead of us. And yes, life gets difficult over time. Sure, sure, sure. Maybe, sure, maybe, maybe some happy, fun things in life. But it's it's just fucking unbelievable the way the way this guy has been treated this way. And to be quite honest with you. He stole his own parents' credit card and they were two, $2,000 in debt. And to be honest with you, people who have autism, like me, don't even fucking like him. Even I don't like him because he's just fucking disgusting and gross. And sooner or later, he's going to rape someone. You can guarantee it's going to happen. Because this guy is fucking dangerous. The way, the way he's brought up. And now you think, well, Lewis, he might talk a bunch of drugs. No, he's not. No, he hasn't talked a bunch of drugs. He's not right in the fucking head, mate. He's fucked up. And now you think, well, he needs to get help. It, it's too fucking late for that. Way too fucking late for that. It's way fucking too late. Right? God, sorry about that. <clears throat> how, how can I put it this way? This guy is a complete tosser, right? That's what he is. He's a complete twat. That's all he is. He's a, he's a loser. No one fucking likes this guy because he doesn't fucking learn from what he's done. How, how fucking pathetic is that? He does not... Learn from anything in the slightest of what he's done. That's just fucked up and wrong. Now, I've I've seen a lot of Sonic freaks and, and include including that one, I believe he's from Manchester, the one who got arrested for raping those those three girls. I think a lot of people may be, may be aware of him. But this guy is way fucking worse. And to be quite honest with you and to be quite honest with you. There's one, thing, there's one thing I actually forgot to mention. This Sonic Shoe, this Sonic Shoe franchise that you made are already been... Uh, they're, they're, those two characters have already been made by two separate companies. Well, well, three, actually. Ge Game Freak and Nintendo obviously made Pikachu, and Sega made Sonic. 
And to be quite honest with you, that's copyright material, to be quite to be honest with you. And yet he didn't he didn't say, oh, this is fan fan art comic that, that I made for Sega and Nintendo. No, he literally put copyrighted by Chris Weston Chandler. Which is which is his full name, by the way. But honest to God, that is that is not that is the most stupid thing to do. He can, honest to God, he can get into a lot of trouble for that. His ass sooner or later his ass is going to be taken to court for that. And it, I, don't, I don't I don't get I don't give a shit if he's took down those Sonic Two comics or not. They're on fucking YouTube. They're on Facebook and Twitter. Once you post them on the internet, it becomes so well known. And you try and delete it. People can easily screenshot that shit but before you even delete it. It's too fucking late. It's way too fucking late. Honest to God, people. How could how could a how could a piece of shit like him even exist? Don't even bother defending this defending this guy because he's just a disgusting, vile creature. He truly is. That's all he is and always will be. And honest to God, I could, all I can think of is just how could how could anyone live in the same state as him? Go out and even go go to the grocery stores while him coming outside and trying to you know touch a woman up. That that is just disgusting and creepy. You know what I mean. And, to, and and speaking of someone who lives in the same state as he does, to anyone who's watching this, and if he lives in the same same state as you, right, the same the same state as you, right. If you have a daughter, a friend who who is a female, a girlfriend, a wife, a niece, whoever whoever is female, right. Keep her or keep her away. Protect her and keep her away from him, right. And if he even dares comes anywhere near her, right? You batter the shit out of him. You batter the living daylight out of him because he, like I said, you can guarantee one hundred percent he's going to rape someone. You just know it. And is is his mother is is his mum ever gonna get, get get him someone to look after him before she dies? No, she fucking won't. Not not in a million years is she ever gonna do that. Because you can guarantee 100% she does not give two shit about him. Not a single bit. And honest to God, I want to get this off my chest. Because this guy, I found this guy like, like three days ago. And he's just fucking disgusting as shit. And... Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done here, people. I'm literally am. Just don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Just go, go and look him up because I'm not putting any of his links in my description because they are disgusting to watch. Just, just go look, go look him on, go look him up on YouTube. Google him. Google up his so-called website if you find it. Because I'm not fucking looking at that shit again. And I'm, I'm fucking done, people. All right, peace out. Fuck this, I'm out of here.